Most of us use numbers every single day, often without thinking about it. A really useful thing that we can do for our children is to help them see that numbers and counting are a part of our real lives, not just something you do at school with a teacher. We can help them to count toys or food or even simple actions like footsteps. We can play counting games like skittles and sing counting songs. When they're ready, we can point out and help them to read and understand really big numbers or negative numbers as they come up in our normal lives. In this way, numbers and counting become more real and meaningful to our children, both at home and at school, and in turn, they become easier. Something that it's easy to forget is that objects, numbers and symbols are three quite different things. So. These four apples are quite different from the word four, which is again quite different from the symbol four. It takes time and experience for our children to learn and remember the relationship between the three. Our children will learn that numbers are ordered according to their size, that is the amount of stuff they represent. So five comes just after four because it represents one more than four and six comes just after five because it represents one more again. We're in a great position to help our children understand this through the normal tasks, games and activities of our daily lives and with everyday objects that we find in our home.